एम एफ ए और मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन इज एन ए डब्ल्यू एस आई एम सिक्योरिटी फीचर दैट हेल्प यू प्रोटेक्ट योर ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट फ्रॉम अनऑथराइज एक्सेस एंड फ्रॉम हैकर्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड सो सेटिंग अप एम एफ इज प्रैक्टिस बाई ए डब्ल्यू एस वेन यू सेटअप एम एफ ए यू हैव टू एंटर अ कोड अलॉन्ग विथ योर अकाउंट एंड यूज नेम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू इनेबल एम एफ ए ऑन योर ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट लेट स्टार्ट So first of all you have to log in to your AWS account with the user you want to set up MFA for. You can set up MFA for root account and for IAM users. So I have already set MFA for my root account. I'm going to show you how to set up MFA for IAM. The process is same but you need to log in if you want to set up MFA for root. You need to log in as root if you want to set up as MFA for IAM. You need to log in for IAM user. Right now I'm logged in as Nasi which is an IAM user and I'm going to show you how to set up MFA. Once you're logged in you need to click on the name on the account name and click on security credentials. In security credentials you will find an option you will be inside the IAM service. Scroll down to see this option multi factor authentication. Multi factor authentication. We need to click on assign MFA device. When you click on assign MFA device you get three options virtual MFA security key other hardware mfa device we are going to use virtual mfa and you need to have an application named as google authenticator if you are using ios or android you can find it on your app store or play store i already have that application on my phone so i'm not going to download it but you need to download an application which has a symbol like this so this is the application i'm going to use this to enable mfa on my aws account once you have downloaded it click on virtual mfa and you can give it a name i'm going to give aws aws underscore iam underscore mfa and i'm going to then click on continue option here once you click on continue you will get qr code which you need to scan so i'm going to reduce the size for first and i'm going to click on show qr code once you click on show qr code you need to scan this with the virtual mfa device the google authenticator in google authenticator you have this plus symbol here i'm going to click on plus symbol and then open my camera so scan qr code option is here and i'm going to scan this qr once i scan it you can see there are three qrs now earlier there was only two but now i have three so i'm going to enter this code 036376 after 30 seconds i will get a new code so i need to enter the second code here as well which is 157388 Now that I have entered both the codes, I am going to click on Assign MFA. If both the codes are correct, the MFA will be assigned. If not, it will not be assigned. I am going to click on Assign MFA, and there you go. This virtual MFA will be required during sign in. Let's try this out. Let's log out, log out from this account, and next time we log in, we should be asked to enter the code. So I am going to go and log out from this account. Okay, sign out. I am going to click on Log Back In. When you enable MFA you need to enter your details along uh, your username your password and if i click on sign in it is going to ask me for MFA code which means we have successfully enabled MFA now i'm going to enter the MFA code that i have received on my google authenticator if it is correct i will be able to log into my account so if i 370190 okay So this is the code I got from on my account you can see here 370190 and I'm going to click on submit if the code is correct I will be able to log into my account which I have successfully done so this is how you set up MFA on your AWS account and the major benefit of having an MFA is if your password is stolen or hacked your account is still not compromised because along with your password you still need your MFA device So this is how you set up and secure MFA your AWS account. AWS recommends you to set up MFA on your accounts because it is one of the best practice. So I hope you understood how to set up MFA on your account. If there's any question, any doubt, you can let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a good day.